Hello, today I'm going to help you install your offline package for the CVSE SGAI. The first three steps in this involve logging into your school coordinator account online. Please download three files from this offline test instructions, the download offline package and the download student list. To save time, I have already downloaded this data to my desktop. As you can see, there are three items here. The first is your package. The second is your instructions and the third are your student lists. The first step is to extract your package. So double click on this and you will open the package. Extract this to your C drive. Critically, please make sure that the destination path is the C drive only. Say OK and let the extraction complete. Once this is done, you may go ahead and open the folder itself. So navigate to the C drive, to your offline app, go into the data folder, the user folder, and you need to replace these two files with the data from this particular extractable. The first step is to double click on it. Once you've opened it, drill down to these two files. Select them and say extract to, navigate again to the offline app, the data folder, the user folder and say OK. It will ask you whether you want to replace the files. Say yes to all. Once this is complete, you can close this and open up this particular folder. Now what you need to do is go up to the offline app level, open the bin folder and run your files to set up your system. The first step would be to run your setup.bat file. Right click and say run as administrator. However, if you have a machine that is already in the administrator, in administrator login, this may not appear for you. For that reason, just double click on the file. Here I will go ahead and run as administrator. You will get a message like this saying press it, any key to continue. You can go ahead and press a key and it will disappear. The last step is to run the startup.bat file. For that, double click on the startup.bat file. You will get three windows as such. Please do not close any of these three windows through the entire testing period. An initial point to note is if you do restart your server computer, please run the startup.bat file again to begin the testing. Now we can go ahead and minimize these three things. To test whether your system is actually working correctly, please open a browser window within your host PC. Now all you need to do is type local host UI and login.html. As you can see, this is now working here. The next step for you to for you to do is to log into your client computer. For that, you will first need an IP address for your host computer. In Windows, search for the CMD command. Right click and open in a new window. Now enter the command ipconfig and say enter. As you can see, there's a whole list of information here, but what is critical is your IPv4 address. Please note this down as you will need to enter this in your client computer. In this case, it is the 192.168.1.100. So I need to go and enter the address as such, 192.168.1.100. Colon at eighty one slash ui slash login dot html. This is the address I will need to use in my client computer. Please note this down. The next step is to go to the client computer and open a browser. In the address bar, please enter one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one hundred. This is the host computer's IP along with colon 8081ui-login.html and press enter. As you can see, you are now connected to the host computer's test instance. Please enter the student's CBSE registration number without any slashes and click go. Once testing for all students in your school is complete, you need to zip the data from the student's testing and send it to us. To do this, Please open the C drive, offline app, and zip the data folder as shown below.
Once that is complete, please mail the data folder to us.